All right, everybody. Keith, aka Gator Guy 231. It is what day is it? Wednesday, April 7th. You notice how these videos so often I lose track of what day it is. That's a, a life of being a real estate agent in 2021. You just uh they're all they're all mixing in with each other. But we have a really actually quite interesting slate. It's gonna be dominated by the news tonight because NBA at this point in the season is always gonna be dominated by the news. So here's just an idea. Um, you know, where I'm looking at my starting five. Um based on some ideas that the Pistons, or I'm sorry, the Pacers guys are going to miss and that uh, New Orleans is going to stay without Ingram, um, without Nah, we know that for sure. So let's jump right into it. Quick reminder, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff really helps. All right, this will be less than five minutes. We'll get in and get out of here. I know that that's the way, you know, so often I like to watch videos, uh, DFS videos, and you do too, I'm sure. So let's start with the top, Russ Westbrook. There's no surprise here. Uh, if Beal misses, you're plugging in Russ. Um, you know, what, what is it now? Like 62, 50. I mean, he, those fifties are disappointing, right? But it's versus Orlando. Orlando's defense is trash. Actually, I keep always saying that like Orlando's defense isn't like awful now. They're all actually all trying, but they're just not a good team. Um, they're not going to have anybody to really throw at Russ. So, you know, Russ is going to do what Russ wants, especially if he doesn't have Rui or Beal, he's going to have, you know, free license to do anything he wants. Chris Levert, a lot depends on that, depending on um, the Sabonis news, the Brogdon news, and now even Jeremy Land news is kind of big. Um, you know, hell, Miles Turner, as you see with Goga down there. Pacers could just have, like, nobody left. Minnesota's not good. So despite the Pacers not having many much of anything, Levert could still mash, and the game could still be close. So love Chris Levert. Zion has been awesome. He was so nice last night versus Atlanta. Um, just didn't get on the boards, but 34 points. He's so efficient. If he can just get boards, he's going to start dropping 50s and 60s. So I'm hoping that he's able to two tonight um, versus Brooklyn, who could go really small. KD's back. Don't know if there's going to be a minutes limit on him, but it'll be interesting to see if they play a lot of Zion at center, which will give him a good chance at getting um, some extra boards. So, um, you know, Zion's probably the starting five, the one guy I'm like, first to drop just because he's just not rebounding the ball. We really need him to rebound to start unlocking his ceiling. But I do love Zion here. And I love this game in general. Like this game could go really, really fast. Um, let's talk about Goga. Um, look, if you have played Euro League, what was it like three years ago? I haven't played in the last little bit, but Goga was a legend for like half a season in Euro League. Just came in, was dropping 40s and 50s. First round pick. In 19 minutes last night, dropped 24.25 points. Look, Miles Turner, it's it's a ankle sprain is what it says. So I just saw like the notification and it says that he's questionable. He sprained his ankle. He ain't playing tonight. So if you don't see um, Miles Turner and you don't see Savonis, I think Goga, you have to you know project for what 20, 22 minutes, and he's gonna smash at min price. So like Goga, finally Lonzo Ball. Zach talked him up last night. He's back to back 50s since he's coming back. They really don't have much in the backcourt. Um, you know, last night he shot four of 14 from three. I, I don't know why all of a sudden Lonzo came back and is now shooting so many threes, but, you know, let's just ride it. 29 three-pointers the last two games. I, I almost wonder – I want to double-check that against box guard. I, I feel like that can't be right, but I did say I think he was like 0 for 6 before checking out from three. So I'm going to guess that it's right. It's just crazy. But he's filling up stat sheet, rebounds, assists, steals, just everything you could want, 7,700. In a game, again, I love getting the New Orleans side of Brooklyn with, you know, the uncertain ram around uh, Kyrie and KD and how that's going to shake out. I think that using the Pelican side might be the better way to do it. Get access, no Harden. I think that the Pelicans can stay close, at least close enough for a guy like Zion or Lonzo to pay off. Just keep a reminder, just keep an eye on all the news. That's going to be key to continuing to do on NBA. Thank you all for watching. See you.